Hey guys and girls, so this is a frustrating video to make. We just got the warning that uh, Darth Maul, Darth Maul being the red one, R2-D2 being the blue one, got the warning of alarm triggered. And we knew last time that this happened, that meant that this car is now bricked. So come in here, nothing. Come back here, nothing. And there's no way to get into it because you can't auto start it. Now, you see that correct. It's been plugged into the charger. Yes, it hasn't been driven for two days, but it's been on that charger the entire time. What's most frustrating is not the fact that we have two vehicles and we're going to be stranded somewhere, or it's going to strand my wife somewhere, or we're going to be on vacation, it's going to be stranded. It's that this problem could have been fixed by Ford if they put in a battery that was bigger than what you could find in most lawnmowers, riding lawnmowers. I've seen power wheels with bigger batteries than this. To fix it for now. So thank God I've got my trusty battery charger, battery booster, because now I'm able to get into my Mach-E because it's been bricked and it's dead. Again, we got that warning saying trigger has been alarmed, and we know that then when that happens, guess what? You've got a brick on your hands, an $80,000 brick. So now comes the task of removing this piece right here removing this piece here, putting that battery booster onto those pegs and getting things moving. It's just very frustrating. And again, I know that Ford could fix this probably even with some over the air uh, upgrades or firmware updates, but I know beyond the shadow of a doubt, they could take that battery out of there that is seen on most lawnmowers or even motorcycles. Christ, I've seen power wheels, kids toys that have bigger batteries than that fix your stuff forward so we've managed now to pull half the frunk apart pulling off that top piece right there getting this piece at least enough out that we can get the cables underneath i know that's hard to see but there's the red positive the black negative and the reason why i've left this like this is because all of this weather stripping is holding everything back and i really don't feel like trying to weasel that underneath that's right underneath the fender here so the charger saying that it's 12 and a half volts why is it bricking up at 12 and a half volts and again i know it's hard to see and i've said it already but there's that little battery i've seen bigger batteries on motorcycles and riding lawnmowers shoot i've seen bigger batteries on kids power wheels toys ford fix your stuff get something going here this is ridiculous so we've got everything hooked up. If we flip this switch, we should see some life. And we do. Wow, look at that. Now it's down to 11.3 volts, but somehow we've got access to the vehicle now. It's tricking, clicking, and doing all kinds of stuff now. Let's see if we can actually get in. Oh, look at that. Again, though. System off to save battery. Well, you did a good job at that. Turning the system off. Yeah, right. Anyways, it's just frustrating that you have an $80,000 vehicle, top of line, cutting edge technology, and they can't figure out that this tiny battery that would be found on uh, lawnmowers and motorcycles, Christ, you can find them on kids' power wheels toys, just isn't big enough for this vehicle. It has given me all kinds of warnings. It won't let me start the vehicle without unplugging, which is baloney, by the way. Actually, I don't want to. I don't want to close that because it won't let me back in. So I'm just going to set that there for now. It's working off of that battery charger to keep everything going because it still thinks that it needs to preserve power or some stupid thing. So it says it's on. But it's not giving me the screen. What the hell is going on? You spend $80,000 on a vehicle. <laughs> 